Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to play at the usual kind of place. This update, update 1.35, we have been messing around in Tokyo. We've been doing a big feature on the grindy stuff there and we've been working through essentially the cars that are part of the race with the odd one that isn't. Just steaming up, forgive me. And with that being the case, we've come to Mr. Suswillow's car, the GTR 17. Now there's a bit of a plan behind this. One of our viewers, one of our watchers has messaged me saying, don't forget you can swap the GTR engine into something else. Well, we will do shortly, but we're going to see what this engine is like in its original car to start with. So, as you will be aware, there's two ways you can tune these cars. You can tune them so that it's just really, really easy. You just put the bolt on parts on, match it to 600 pp, go and win it. Or you can try and really try and tune this bad boy to be what it can be. So with that, we don't normally, we don't normally um, aim to put any ballast in. We don't normally go over the pp and try and trade it off with something. But this is one of those cars where effectively, and I'm just going to check I've got audio, I have. Effectively, you can absolutely nail this one. You can make it an absolute savage. And that's what we're going to try and do today. So, sports hard tyres, normal suspension. We're going to try and save on a little bit there. We don't adjust anything and the settings are virtually the same. So, that's where they're going to be. Fully customizable diff. That's currently set to 50-50 torque rear. Which is probably where you want it to be. But I'm probably going to change it to something like 60-40. Downforce. 60 280 60 on the front 280 on the rear so we've got a front splitter side skirts we've got the rear valance on and we've got a high level rear wing customizable ecu set to 82 percent ballast at 46 ballast position in 50 that's all the way to the back get it over the back wheels power restrictor set to 100 so we've not taken anything back and then we've got transmission at 320 this gives us around about 688 brake horsepower and it will give us the speed to the end of end of the road. So when we look to brake, and this is going to brake at probably the 250, just after the 250. No nitrous, we've got the medium RPM turbo, we've got the anti-lag system, but we've got it off. It doesn't matter whether you've got it on or not, it doesn't change the PP. But if you have it on, it's on, whatever. You've bought it, put it on. Intercoolers racing, racing air cleaner, silencer and exhaust manifold, brake systems racing, brake pads as well, brake controller with the brake set to all the way to the front, we're going to try, the pain, try and take the pain off the rear tyres, that's just adjusted, carbon, no, we've got the racing flywheel and clutch, and we've got the carbon prop shaft, we've got engine balance tuning installed, titanium com rods, racing crankshaft, and we've got the increased body rigidity, now further, we could try and reduce some of the body weight and we can try and just restrict the power a bit. But as it stands, I think we're pretty much there and thereabouts. Let's get to the track. So now that we're here, let's have a look at the settings. Assist, traction control, one, default ABS, everything else off. Mm, yeah, that's where we're going to go to start with. If I mess it up, I'll redo this. Controller settings, 5 and 6, your force feedback, max torque 5, force feedback sensitivity 6. I'm playing on hard, always play on hard, don't play anything else folks, it's where to be. And what do we need to check? Well, there's two ways we can do this, we can conserve fuel, and we can try and make it a no-stopper, or we could go all the way and try and get the fastest possible lap in. Now I've been told a 206 is pretty possible. Should we go and take a look? Fuel map one then. We're not going to worry ourselves about fuel saving. We're just going to go for it. We're going to do six laps pit stop, six laps finish. We're going to try and beat out as many fast laps as we possibly can. We're going to try and get to first place as quickly as we can. We're going to try and demoralise the guys as much as possible. We're going to rub their faces in it. But we've got to keep control of it and we want the clean race bonus. So break just after this puddle. Get Mr Suswillow behind us. Don't run into the wall. We just took... Oh my god. 
Hit by Mr. Blazan there. No. Here we go then, fuel map one. We're not going to have any dramas about fuel saving or try and make something of it. We are going to run for the line. We're going to pit stop once. We're going to give everything. We are going to make sure we have got everything we can to get to the front. Here we go. We're already flying past everybody. Going to sixth gear, crest of the hill. There we go. With 3.2 seconds from the front of the pack. We're going to break just after this large puddle here. Now this car turns when it's on the brakes. Up the inside of Mr. Cookerbun. Can we get up past Mr. Fraga before the corner? That'll put us in third place by the end of corner three. We just had to check the gear there. We're doing all right. This is going to be quite a good car. I've had a bit of practice. Purely because this is, this is something to drive, this. You're going to love it, folks, when you get a go at this. And we're not going to hold back. We are just going to give it some. Oh, 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 Mr. Hizal, what were you doing on the outside there? Why would you try and hang it around the outside? That makes no sense. Tyres are looking pretty good on lap one. Oh, we just had to check that there. It, it, it suffers from front end grip, which I think is downforce, which we had to sacrifice a little bit of, purely because we were going for top speed. got the pace now we are four seconds behind mr gallo in second place we're going to try and be in first place by the time we get to the end of the start finish straight let's see what we do let's first thing to look at is going to be the time across the line for the first lap something in the 22 23 region will be phenomenal there's a 23 so that's if you watch these regularly you'll notice that's three to four seconds quicker than we normally do it We've just broke the 200 mile an hour with two seconds behind Mr. Mr. Gallo, and we are just gonna get to him. We are with him as predicted by the end of that first start to finish straight. Car slid all the way around there. got plenty of fuel and these tyres will get us to the pit stop Mr Gallo is making a run for it we are going to reel him in though we are going to try and break him a little bit because that's in my nature to rub somebody's face in it to rub their nose in it definitely eight seconds quicker than the previous fastest lap so what will that give us an out lap a first complete fast lap of a I don't know 210 maybe there's a potential for a 212 that'd be awesome a 210 would be phenomenal here we go breaking on the 200 he can break later than us because he's lighter, but will we get up the inside quicker? Why would he break just entering that apex? That's ridiculous. We're going to leave him behind. Here we go. We're going to have enough fuel, I hope. Yes, we will have because we've only got to get to the pit lane entrance. A 2.10.305, first lap. That's absolutely epic. Now we've got three laps to perfect it. Three laps to get the feel right. 
Breaking just after the puddle, there it is. He is staying with us, he's trying to keep up to us, but with a top speed of 210, he's going to struggle to get to us. And we've got to make the most of it as we go around here. So looking for purples as the fuel, fuel weight starts to drop off. Shouldn't have to change out of fourth now. I've been tapping third through there. I've been told that this car, with the right setup in the right hands, can do a 206. And that is pretty epic for just like a road car. I don't think this qualifies as a hypercar. The R36, the R35, whichever model it is, GTR 17. If we want to get the hypercar class stuff, we want to get a McLaren round here. That's one thing to try, isn't it? A McLaren and the Lambo. If we can get the PP down to 600. The Valkyrie might go well round here. That's proper hypercar stuff. Front tyres are just starting to show a little bit of wear. Holy heck, look at that, that was 2.442 up before we hit the wall. That'll probably drop us down. We'll probably get a 209 now, but we know we can do a 207. We know we can. There's a 2083. So I want a 208, a 207 on the next lap would be tremendous before we lose those front tyres altogether. Let's see if we can just concentrate long enough to do that. Braked well into there. I think we can probably brake just a little bit later next lap round. Through the gears is tremendous. Almost ready for fifth gear at that point. It's going to be purple? Yes. Here we go. Touch on the wall there. Is that going to slow us? Yes, we've lost quarter of a second. That's a shocker. We're going to hit the wall. Oh dear. Front left tyre's gone a bit. So. Just going to take the weight off the rears. Off the front, I mean. Two more laps to do. And they're both driver errors because of diminishing equipment. What we like for fuel, 2.1, we're good. We're going to make it round. So another 208, which is pretty good, but not as good. We know a 207 is possible. Car's feeling a little bit bouncy. We're 10 seconds clear of Mr. Gallo, who now has gone to the pits. Mr. Suswillow resumes second place. 15.8, almost 16 seconds behind us. That's kind of half a pit stop sort of time. That front left is starting to suffer. But we put the power to the back wheels, which we're going to keep there now. Put the pressure on the right front instead.
Come on, we can still get a decent lap in. We know we can. Just got to check those gears. Four of a second down. And we know this is the latter part of the track that we've been losing the time. So if we can just get this right, we can improve those times. This will be the last flyer though, because we're going to pit on the next lap. Massive shout out to the viewer who suggested this video. And we've had another request today, as we know, from somebody to do an engine swap from this car. So we'll have to see where we go. Are we going to be purple? No, we're just a tenth out. One point one laps of fuel. As we've just pushed 300 mile in this car up to sixth early. A 207. So, as it stands, this is the fastest single lap car we've tried here to date. If you discount mm, the big boy, the one everybody chooses not to mention. A lot of people have done a lot of laps around here in one particular car when it was able to run here. And uh, it's best we just gloss over that. So we're 25 seconds clear now. We made it up to fifth gear and we're purple sector. Even on worn tyres. So we're going to take tyres and fuel at the pit stop as we fight it round a 207 790. And we know, we know a 206 can be on the cards if we really get a good lap in. Just outside the purples. On a good set of tyres, I'd like to be almost a half second up at that last split. That would be really, really nice. Right, this time we're going to the pits. Get this thing turned. Just a tenth outside at that point. You know there's a possibility of a fastest lap there. But it won't be this time. We might run out of fuel actually just before we hit the pits. We didn't. We are fueling all the way for six laps. We pitted with a 31.854 lead over Sus Willow. Kukabun in third. Hizal fourth, Blazen fifth, as they just changed places. Bouvoir goes to sixth, Fraga in seventh, Grady in eighth. We're going to take all the fuel, and there's a chance here we could be out of the pits before we're overtaken. We're gone. Mr. Suswillow makes it to the pits. Mr. Cookerman goes to the pits. Mr. Zhao carries on. He's 11 seconds behind us. Mr. Blazen now third. Fraga fourth. Everybody else has gone to the pits. So that means Gallo's going to come through and pick up fifth spot. Break on the 200 just before. So we've got a reorganised leaderboard now. We don't often see Mr. Blazen up there. This outlap doesn't count towards any time. We don't get any splits. So this is just about maintaining what we do and being as quick as we possibly can. Keep it in fourth gear. Car feels light and nimble. Feels like it's got lots of grip for the tires. We've got a slightly different 
spread of power since the first laps because we're 70 30 now we were 60 40 last time so we'll try and get tires longer what we won't have is the ability to use the front tires to pull us out the corner Here we go, eight seconds clear of Mr. Blazan. He's catching us, but he shouldn't be. We made it late into that corner, which is tremendous. Right, now we're gonna go for it. Every single lap now, we're going to put an attempt in to get absolutely smashed on those times. 8.6 seconds clear. Now I'm already thinking about what's the possibility of lapping people. We'll have to see. 200 mile an hour, Blazan goes to the pits. Hizal goes to the pits. That's me, Fraga's going to come back in. Fraga's gone to the pits. That means then Gallo is going to come through to second place. Some 21 seconds behind. And if it goes as per normal, he's going to pit again. So Kukabun third, Yamanaka fourth. Looks like Suswillo came out of the pits fairly swiftly. Are we going to be purple here? Yes, quarter of a second. That's a good start for 10. Oh, we hit the wall hard then. That's not good. No damage though. Still purple, half a second, holy moly, how's that even possible? We feel slow. But here she comes. Two hundred. I don't like putting the stress on the gearbox and the engine as we're slowing down. Let's see if we've managed to maintain it. Half a second. So this should be 207.2 maybe. With a couple of wall strikes. So we've got to improve on that. We're 26 seconds ahead of Gallo. A 207.2. This car continues to set the pace. Front tyres are looking ropey. We're going to break just after that puddle, which seems to be disappearing. The fronts are just letting go. There's lots of rubber. And that all belongs to us, I would suggest. There's Gallo to the pits. weight on that outside right it's it's not going to suffer anything that outside right it slipped 40 seconds in the lead that's 40 seconds ahead of Cookabun And there's the first victim to be lapped, we would suggest. Just saw him running down the opposite straight. I'm just wondering if I should be producing a leaderboard so we can keep track of where we are with decent cars. So 
so we're 207 last time we're purple we were purple we've gone to red now so this lap is not going to improve but we won a 206 we know this car's capable we've just dropped to 2.9 on the fuel so the last lap we might have to back off and just see if we can make sure we can get there with the fuel so 200 mile an hour as we top out here there's a possibility he says possibility we're not backing out of it just yet so that last lap was a 207.328 which is pretty damn good Purple by quarter. It was almost three tenths till I messed it up coming into the tunnel. I'll try and make a bit of pace through here. just dropped it off it's here where we're exceptionally slow see if we can speed this up a bit felt quite quick through there that time 47 seconds in the lead don't want to go too deep Two tenths outside. Yeah, and we're well shy on the fuel. So, whilst we've got the opportunity, this is the last lap to really hit it. A 207.383. So, we're through the best of the tyres, unfortunately. 50 seconds in the lead over Cookerman, Gallo 3rd, Suswillo 4th, Yamanaka 5th, Blazen 6th, Braga 7th, Solis 8th. We were actually faster down the start finish straight just then. She's absolutely screaming, engine wise. I don't think this will be purple. No, just a shade out. Fifty three seconds in the lead. Yamanaka goes to the pits. And there's our first lapper. Blue flags are there telling me he's told him. So we're going to have to back this off. Mr. Gentry's weaving. There's the potential of another lapper ahead as well before the end of the lap. So a 2079 with the last straight on fuel map 6, which is pretty decent. How are we looking for the end time? The end time looks like a 26 something. Pretty much definitely nailed on, I would suggest. So 
So if we were to put this engine in a different car, holy hell, how fast will it go? Already into a car that's pretty decent around this circuit. We will have to see, won't we? I'm going to have to buy another one, though. Turning late there. I should have turned in earlier. He's starting to get the blue lights. We've got the fuel. I'm going to turn it up for the final running. We just touched the wall. Mr. Conomos. Is he going to let us go? He is. We're going to lean on him. We've got all the fuel we need. Two cars lapped. She slides when she wants to. It's a slower final lap. But we got there on the fuel, no dramas, they didn't want to run out. We're a minute clear of Mr. Cookabun. We've lapped two cars. We have a fastest lap of 207.222. And that is an absolute beast. One to be enjoyed. So we finished that in a 26.32. So the question is, if you fuel save, would you beat that 26.32? I don't know. You'd take probably 28 seconds off that because of not having to stop. So that would put you at like a 26.04. But there's no way you would do those lap times. Not a chance. We had to fuel save one on that last lap to come round. But there it is. She's an absolute beast and she's one to keep in the... Uh, in the books let's see if we got that yes we did get the clean race bonus so it's capable of doing that as well absolutely tip top as you can see our bank balance is rocking and rolling now that we are on the way and we've got the roulette tickets now it's just as a little a little thing I'm going to put in I'm just gonna do an extra little bit here for those of you that do like to watch I'm gonna take you through my roulette tickets they're a couple of weeks worth let's see what we win and uh, just to keep you interested a little bit of a reward for sticking around and watching not that it interests you probably oh look at that my oil's gone got to change my oil that could have probably given us a faster time so look at that all four stars and except for two we got a parts ticket and an engine ticket what we're we gonna win we'll just leave the six stars till the end Nobody minds a little AMG, do they? Nobody minds one of them. I'd like one of them on my drive. I'd like one of those as a real car. That would be stunning. Absolute beaut. Try and buy one, though. Not a chance. Not on my pleasant peasantly wage. Is it always going to be that top circle? Here we go. I do not want the Porsche. Don't, don't know. No. Oh. Well, you've got to get them, haven't you? You've got to get them. The invites. Don't really want them, but there we go. I should have bought everything by now. And if anybody is interested, I still haven't completed the Platinum Trophy. It means I've got to go online. And I don't want to do those online races. I hate them. I'm going to have to do them now. I'm going to have to suffer the pain, aren't I? going to keep going. We're not doing so bad, are we, folks? We're not doing so bad. A little bit of cash, a little bit of credits. I don't... An exhaust, what for? Looks like a Subaru exhaust. Nissan, maybe. It's a greedy Fugu. It is a Nissan. It looks very similar to the exhaust I've got on my Impreza. Oh, there's a couple of cars. There's a, there is a single car. See if we can keep with the AMG. No. Nope. Body lightening, what's that for? One wonders. The Mazda RX7 Spirit, nice. So 
So what do we get next? It's definitely a car. I don't think I have that. Oh, that's a shame. I have the BRZ though. It's GR86. Mmm, very nice. I don't mind so much. I don't mind so much a car. Keep going. This one looks like a money award. No, it's an engine. Happy days. Go on, GTR 17. GTR Nismo. R36 debt. No. It's the RX-7 Spirit engine. It's a, it's a rotary two-barrel. Another four-star. I don't know how anybody can be disappointed unless you keep getting invites. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> don't mind. They're useless, but hey, it's free. Nobody cares. Lowest cash value. What's it going to be? Five, ten, ten. All adds to that bank balance. There's another GR86. An exhaust. A Mazda RX-7 Spirit Type A. Happy days, two to go. Oh, there's a Bugatti invite. That'd be pleasant, wouldn't it? Get the nitrous for something instead. A Peugeot RCZ. No, I, I, I don't believe I own that car, so there's something we have to buy. The last of the four star tickets. Because I'm as blue as a boy can be. I don't own that. Whatever that is, I'd like that. It's a Charger SRT Hellcat safety car. Well, chalk it up. Might have to have a safety car race one day. Happy days. So, are we going to go parts first, then the engine? Nothing more disappointing out of parts. There we go. It's going to be a bore up, is it? It is a bore up S for the back mono. Well, there you go. There's a freebie. Happy days. And then the engine. What's this going to be? Six star ticket engine. They all like like Nismos. Could be anything. It's a Nissan GTR GT500 08. Well, it was close, wasn't it? That's almost what we wanted. But there we have it, folks. And that's just an extra little bonus for you. Hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you on the next one. All the best. Take care. Adios.